Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off and I actually decided to change my priorities a little bit and so we are going to switch our research to cartography and we will actually build a harbor in our capital. I was planning to build a harbor in here anyway, might as well do it now to rush cartography and we can get started on some caravels and other ships. So, which tile do we want it on? One of these. Because then, if we build districts, it will help. We do have a district right here, that's the Lavra. So, if we place the harbor over here, we'll be able to get a district that will get plus one on this Tundra tile. Yep, that works. Alright then, that will take six turns. And what else can we do? We need to get rid of that barbarian camp before it starts spawning galleys or something like that. In fact, we do have a few trade routes going through here. Maybe we should move the galley towards it. Yep, they did spawn a galley or quadririm. All right, let's move the other one as well. And upgrade, that's 210 gold. Now let's wait for professional army. Not much point upgrading without that. I think our trade route will still get pillaged regardless. Let's find out. No, they will attack our galley, that's good. And we enter the Renaissance era. Now, if we plan to go to war, it's probably a good idea to declare war before industrial era, because warmonger penalties for war declarations are really harsh later in the game, and they are based on the era you're in. Anyway, do we want to stay here? No, probably not. How much health do we have? 71. It's probably fine. I think it's fine. But if I attack it, we'll probably lose the galley. So let's not attack it, we'll move one tile away, because then we can move into our city on the next turn. And move in with the other galley. Sounds good? Alright. And let's move to get rid of that barbarian camp. Shouldn't be too hard, only spearmen. Oh, Gilgamesh likes us. Yeah, I think that's his agenda. Maybe we'll be able to get friendly with him, finally. I want some kind of friend in this game. That would be useful. Okay, so now we can move out with one galley. Oh yeah, we can't move enough. That's fine, we'll move in with the other. I think our trade routes will get pillaged no matter what. But let's find out, I suppose. I hope not. That quadrium is a little bit annoying. Let's check Gilgamesh. Can we do anything? He still won't accept a delegation, what the heck? Seriously, we got four positive modifiers. And he still won't do it. How annoying is that? I'm almost considering selling one of the great works. We will get a great writer in the next few turns. And oh, he is not willing to buy them. No, he is willing to buy them. Okay, then, how much would he give us? 360 gold? Okay, not that much, but it was worth checking. Let's see, 20 gold per turn? Yeah, that is a lot of gold per turn. 25 gold per turn. I might actually accept this deal. Yeah, this is a little bit too much. That's a lot of gold. I feel like trade is still a little bit broken. If you watched my pre-release games, Trade was quite obviously broken in a few situations. And this feels broken. One great work of writing should not be worth 34 gold per turn and 360 flat gold. That's just not right. But I mean, I could sell it. I'm about to get a writer and there's no space for more great works. Can we get a luxury instead? That would be quite helpful. Yes, we can. And maybe some gold. Yeah, he's still going to give us gold. Let's try 200. No, 150. 125. All right, here, enjoy your great work. And I'll show you our progress towards the great writer. Yeah, we are at 193 out of 240. So we will get one very, very soon. Moving to Novgorod, we can do that after all. Alright, let's see what's going to happen with our trade routes. 
I think one of them will get pillaged right about now. Oh, Egypt denounced us again. That's because our army is weak, apparently. According to them. Okay, we did not get attacked by the Quadrinim. Now we can attack it ourselves. As in, our archer did get attacked, but that doesn't matter too much. And let's take a shot. This isn't quite enough, but we should be able to get rid of the Quadririm on the next turn, and we didn't lose the trade routes. That's good. Anyway, one more turn in cartography, or two more turns actually, and Moscow is done with the industrial zone. Let's have a look. We don't need a shrine right now. Do we want the campus? Possibly, I need a second campus somewhere. So we could build it right here, that's plus one. Plus one is not amazing, but it's something. We could also build a campus on this tile. No, not much point doing that. It would save the mine. And we would only lose one science. Maybe that is a good idea after all. We just need to trade that tile to Moscow. I don't know. I would like to save the mine because production is so important. You know what? One science isn't really a big deal. Let's build it right here. It's not optimal, but it will save us some production. Yep, let's do that. Works for me. Eight turns. Done. Alright, carry on then. Let's explore this continent a little bit more. See what we can find. And get rid of that barbarian camp. I like how that single Barbarian Spearman is attacking Geneva, and he actually captured a Builder, alright. We could potentially steal that Builder ourselves. We can certainly try. Alright, get rid of the Quadrinim. And we can pick up a promotion, we cannot attack from this tile because forests are blocking the way. Volley. Yep. And I think it's best if we fortify and wait for the archer to move in. There's no huge rush, although we should hurry up before the barbarians spawn another quadrium. We wouldn't want that to happen, would we? No. Also, we are going to need more theater squares for all these great people that we are getting. Yeah. Well, that will have to wait. Kill that guy. And repair. Off you go, we'll stay inside the cities. Let's try to follow that worker. And oh yeah, barbarian warrior. We'll just stay fortified, that's fine. Alright, next. Oh yeah, also, switch cartography to something else. I should have done that before the end of my turn. That's okay. There it is. We got the Eureka and Everyone that finishes cartography. Some some and we also got guilds. So that in these days of changing fortune, Do we want to change any policies? Wonder. Yeah, we kind of need professional army, I guess. Sure. Did we actually research that? No, we didn't. Not yet. That requires mercenaries. Alright, we can get that in four turns. But do we want to change any policies? Maybe serve them. We should be fine without the campus bonus. I do like extra science, don't get me wrong, but we mostly caught up. Yeah, we got 27 techs, and Gilgamesh also has 27 techs. So it's not a huge priority anymore. It was when we were behind. But we can replace it. Let's replace it with serfdom. Because we still need at least another builder or two. Okay, serve them and keep everything else. We kind of don't need Medina quarters. Yep, looks good. We'll keep conscription. Accept. And now we could just build uh, or buy a builder. 
we still have to improve the fish. And we could get another farm over here. We could also get a lumber mill near our capital. And we could get a mine. Yep, let's just buy a builder. But we need to wait one turn because the policies will not kick in until the next turn. Let's not make that mistake. And since we got a harbor, we might as well build a lighthouse. It's useful. So, sure. And I will be building ships in that city. So we don't want a lighthouse and then a shipyard later on. Back to research. What should we go for right now? So here's the problem. I don't want industrialization ASAP, but I also want to declare war before industrial era because of the warmonger penalty. Let's work on square rigging. Actually, let's get gunpowder. Because I really need to know if we have nitre or not. Yeah, let's try that. Can we build an aqueduct a little bit faster? Yes, it will be done in two turns. Alright, so that works. Wait, hold on, we already got 50% progress towards military engineering. Well, let's do two turns of banking. And then we'll switch to gunpowder. I don't think we'll have the time to build an armory, considering we don't even have an encampment district. I could build an encampment district in Novgorod once the industrial zone is done, but I don't know if we have enough time to wait for that. And we met the last AI, I believe, Arabia. Is that the last AI? I think so. Okay then. He is right here, so on the other side of the map. Well, he's not that far away, actually, if we go southwest from our capital. Alright, increased trade route capacity. Yeah, we need traders. But not everything all at once. We'll get them, don't worry. We could just buy traders. That's probably a good idea, honestly. But first, let's buy that builder. We could train a builder in one of our core cities and buy a builder in our newest city. Because, you know, we kind of need a builder here, really badly. And this city has the lowest production. Okay, builder. And we'll just switch to a builder right now. We can finish the lighthouse later. That's three turns. Sounds good. So, anything else? The trade route. Do we have any more quests for the trade routes? I don't think we do. No, we do not. Which means we can use this for anything we want. Some gold. 12 gold, 1 culture, 2 faith. With France. That's not a bad trade route. I think we'll go for that one. That is, in fact, the best trade route we got right now. We could go for Valletta, which is plus 10 gold and plus 2 production. But sending a trade route to France will give us a boost to our relations with France. Let's do that. And, yep, get rid of that barbarian camp already. Next. Two turns. And that will give us the boost from Akedokt. Then we can switch our research. Oh yeah, we should send the delegation to Arabia or something. And he will not accept, really. We just met! Open borders. Fine, have your gold. Stubborn bastard. Minus 20 for unknown reasons. What? What reasons do you have? Okay, then. Dislikes civilizations following other religions. Or civilizations waging war on followers of his religion. Alright, I mean, we do follow another religion. But it's not my fault. Okay, oh, finally we found another city-state. Alright. What does this one do? Oh yeah, when you enter a new era, earn one random Eureka from that era. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And we got some gold. 35. There's the builder. First of all, we should remove the marsh. Because that will give us a food boost. Yep, sounds good. 2 turns to finish the builder and we can switch to professional army and get rid of serfdom once we finish mercenaries. We could get one more builder before that's done. 4 turns. 
or we could just get two builders in a row in our capital. You know, just to take advantage of serfdom, or we could buy a builder, that's also a possibility. But we need gold because we got quite a few units that require upgrades. I'm just waiting for a professional army, basically. There's no point wasting gold right now. That would be silly. He already denounced us? What the heck, bro? We just met. You have different governments. Yeah, and that's the reason to denounce us? Apparently it is. Alright, have it your way. I don't care. And there's the boost to military engineering. And we also got a great person, probably the great writer. The great artist. Oh yeah, nice. That will give us yet another boost. There we go, to humanism. You must not lose faith in humanity. And now humanity we can build like the art ocean. museum, which is required drops of the for the great dirty, artist. The ocean does not become dirty. Change policies or wait one turn? We could wait one turn or two turns. I kind of need to finish the builder. Right, remove that. That's five population. Do we change policies or not? I don't think so. We'll keep serfdom conscription. Yeah, no, don't change anything. This is fine. We'll finish the builder and I guess we'll get the art museum after that. Because, you know, I need the art museum for the great artist. And let's see, Akedoct is done. Now we can get something else. Let's just start building some ships. Or maybe get that trader first, because, you know, we still need him. And I'd rather save my gold for unit upgrades. Because we'll have a lot of unit upgrades. And these were war cards. Gilgamesh is still using war cards on turn 149. Alright, whatever flows his boat or whatever rides his cart, <laughs> apparently. That's literally the first unit he gets. That's also the strongest unit at the start of the game. As in, the strongest starting unit. Right, the artist will have to wait. Where exactly is the district? Right here. He can wait over there. Sleep and you'll wait for your turn. Anything else? Oh yeah, the galley. We are waiting for a professional army. Hopefully this will be enough gold. We are making 24 gold per turn right now. That's not bad, not bad at all. Production. Well, you know what it's going to be. Art museum. And we got the builder. Let's just improve that deer already. Are we even going to work that tile? It's not a very good tile. It just isn't. But we'll work it eventually, I guess? I would actually prefer some mines to the north. Yeah, let's not waste our builder charge on that. It's not a very good tile to work. Not doing it. We'll improve other things. Like the fish, you know? Alright. And back to Novgorod, I suppose. You need to heal back to full. One more turn for mercenaries. And the builder. We got four more builds. We'll remove the other marsh. That leaves us with three. Improve both wheat tiles. And it would be nice to get some kind of production. So I guess the stone. Which means we are not getting a farm on the grassland. That will have to wait for the next builder. Whenever that's going to happen. Sumeria denounced Egypt. Alright. You guys have fun over there. We just and now we got mercenaries, sure so shot. professional army. I don't think I'll be using trade confederation. It's not a bad policy, but we need to keep Medina quarter. Anyway, professional army, we just need that for a few turns. I could keep conscription by getting rid of Medina quarter or getting rid of serfdom. We still keep serfdom on this turn, so we could buy a builder right now. I think we should, actually. We don't have the time to just recruit a builder in Novgorod. Alright, fine, we'll get the builder. He will still have five builds. Yes, we do need gold for unit upgrades, but some of these units can wait. And we are making 75 gold per turn. So now we can get rid of Serfdom, move Medina Quarter up here, keep Conscription and use the wildcard slot. 
for professional army or other way around it doesn't make a difference yep looks good now we have to wait one turn because that will not kick in until the next turn and what's the next civic going to be probably diplomatic service i don't think we'll get an alliance i'm trying but it's just not happening and we need diplomatic service to have cbs so sure and I would like to get a spy. And I would like to establish some embassies. Let's have a look. No, not you. Gilgamesh. Right here. He still won't accept a delegation, despite the fact we do not have a single negative. We also don't have a lot of positives anymore, but come on, bro. I'm not selling you another great work, sorry. Not going to happen. Okay, great writer. That gives us a boost to the enlightenment. We will not have enough slots for this guy. Well, not a guy, but you get the point. Oh, now Pedro will be bad. Is that what it's all about? Yeah, that's his agenda. He dislikes people who compete for the same great... Great anything, really. Yeah, he's upset that we have more great people than him. Well, whatever, cry me a river. And we will pass on the great scientist. We let China get that one. Yep. Enjoy, China. They will get him soon enough. Arabia, four points per turn. Oh, Arabia is actually beating us in great scientist points per turn. Yeah, that's not good. We might want to work on that, which we are doing by building the campus. That's literally what we are doing right now. Monument, because culture. And... Great, Geneva. Who was that again? Oh yeah, Egypt. Egypt really wants Geneva, apparently, but so do I. Sorry, Egypt. There, we'll be keeping that. And... Right, can we pop that great writer at all? Or not. Yes, we can. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't matter which tile. And because she was so beautiful. And now we need to wait for another amphitheater. Unfortunately. So, the builder. Let's grab the lumber mill. Is this a hill? That is a hill. It might be better to just chop that forest then. To speed up the art museum, for example, that's not a bad idea. And then focus on military, you know. That is still the plan. Okay, let's do that. And in case you're wondering, we are probably going to get a culture victory. It's kind of ironic because a culture victory is probably the easiest victory type to get in the Civilization 6 right now. The science victory requires way too much production. It requires an insane amount of production. So a lot of the time it's just easier to get a culture victory. You just need to kind of prepare in advance. So Moscow library because great scientist points. Obviously. And sleep. And the builder. We need two more turns to chop that forest. Now, I still want an encampment district. Maybe we should do that. But where exactly? That's a good question. We could build it on the Tundra. It wouldn't be super useful, but... I think I'd rather use... the more useful tiles for other things. Like, we could get a commercial hub with plus two over here. And that is the best location for it. Which means I don't want to get an encampment over there. We could also use the mountain location for a campus. Or we could use this location for a campus, if we chop the forest. Maybe we should chop that forest, actually. So what if we get, let's say, commercial hub over here, a campus over here, and an encampment over here. That makes sense. We need at least one city with an encampment. And at least this location will be semi-useful. Unfortunately, that means I'll have to buy that tile, and I'm not super excited about that. 
Imagine why. Let's just get a workshop and we'll chop the forest to speed up the workshop. Yep, sounds good to me. So what about these promotions? 100 gold. And galleys, how expensive is that? 135. Right. We can't afford that many promotions right now, but on the other hand, we don't have that many units. How much is the spearman? I can't see right now. There's banking. Do we have a good location the for the Great Zimbabwe? That is actually that's a nice wonder problem. if you have a good city for it. I don't think we have a single valid location. No, it requires cattle nearby. We do not have that anywhere. Alright, never mind. It was worth checking. Back to research. Let's see, I do want square rigging. But I also want gunpowder. Let's finish military engineering. Apparently we need one more turn. Alright. Do we work on Geneva or get started on another city? Let's maybe get started on another city. How about we get started on Hatosa? Because we could get missing strategic resources in the future. From Hatosa. Let's get started on that. We'll get a few more envoys from the civic tree and tech tree. So that's useful. And yep, the writer will have to wait until we get another theater square, which might take a little bit of time. It's not really our top priority at the moment. I could totally sell another great work and just pop the great writer. And maybe we should, honestly. I don't know. How much would Brazil pay? Probably quite a lot. Let's have a look. Can we increase this by 10 at a time? 23, yeah, he will pay a lot. There's no way this is intended. The AI seems to value great works just way too much. Again, this was also a problem in my press preview build. And it's still the same as it was before. This really needs to get adjusted. But hey, he's willing to buy it, so... yeah. I got a great writer waiting, I can use the gold. I don't need that many great works of writing. And we'll get many more writers. Ah, screw it. We'll go for it. Yes, enjoy. And now we can pop the great writer. If you will be Done. So good and gen now we just wait for the art museum. One more turn and we can chop the forest. How much production are we getting here? 37 per turn. Not bad. And another farm and then we'll get a quarry and remove the marsh on the way. And that will boost our city quite a lot. I really like starting cities close to marsh. It's so nice getting that population boost. This is actually a decent city now. It's bigger than Novgorod. And I founded Novgorod quite a long time ago. Way earlier than this one. So what about these unit upgrades? Let's maybe get started on that. Because, you know, it's about time. Caravel, yep. There we go, that also gives us a boost to exploration. That is nice. And more. Let's see. Archer. 105 gold for the spearman, sure. Let's just upgrade everything. I think we can afford it. That's also metal casting boost. And one more archer. We can afford that one. Yep, I think that was the last unit. We still got the warrior, but we cannot upgrade that guy. Yet. So, military engineering. Blast. That unlocks the armory. Battle. Which we should build if we want the boost. However... I want to know where Niter is. I will not be waiting for the armory. There's just not enough time. Maybe if we had an encampment, but we do not, so screw that. We'll just research gunpowder the hard way. But I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.